Hey everybody, this is Matt Saletti with Dubspot, and today I'd like to show you how to create your own remix sets inside of the new Tractor Pro 2.5, specifically using Machine as a way to export your projects and put them into a remix set so you can perform live with them. So the first thing we're going to do is actually take a look at how to load a remix deck. We simply come to any of the decks, select a remix deck, and we will have a new blank remix deck. Now, a couple months ago, I actually showed you how to drag and drop patterns from machine into Tractor's sample decks. And the same concept will still work here. So we all know inside of machine, we can have a pattern playing. and simply come with a drag and drop uh, cursor right here. So I'm gonna hold down, and what this does is render the loop in real time, so you'll have a nice wave file you can work with. And what I'm gonna do is actually just drag it right to our desktop. Once it's done, we just throw it off to the side there. Now, let's actually go back into Tractor, and what I can do is into my Explorer, I can go and find, for instance, my desktop, and there you can see I've dragged that exact pattern right there. So we can go ahead and load it up and put it right inside of your remix deck. Now let me stop for a second and actually show you one thing I prefer to do. So if you come to the preferences inside of Tractor, under the remix decks category, you have this set auto gain when loading samples. This is not normally checked. So I would suggest actually checking this and everything you load in is going to have a nice uniform sound. It's going to be easier to work with if you're not going to have things coming in too quiet or anything and you don't have to worry about it. So set that and you should be good to go. Now, one thing, if you're, if you're going to be doing this a lot and you're dragging a lot of files to your desktop, I suggest actually right-clicking on your desktop and adding this to your music folders inside of Tractor. That way, when you come out, you can actually see under the Explorer, you have a music folders category and your desktop will show up no problem. So what we're going to do is go back right into machine now. So in scene two, I have added a bass line and a different drum pattern. I had been listening to a lot of art department, I believe, <laughs> when, I, when I started this track. So uh, it's definitely in that kind of vein, that kind of style. Now. We could obviously go in and drag each this one and then come to the baseline and drag this one, but there's an easier way. And especially when you're working with remix sets, it's just going to be the easiest way to actually export everything all in one chunk, if you will. So what we're going to do is come to the file menu and export audio. So what you normally see is the region is all scenes, meaning it's basically going to record all the scenes and then stop. And that's your WAV file if you were to export it right now and it's gonna come out of the output as the master. What you can also select here is the loop range. Loop range meaning whatever is selected. So this, this loop right here, since this scene just keeps looping over and over, you're basically gonna have this loop range. And now instead of master, since I don't wanna have the drums and the bass playing on top of each other, I want them separated basically so I can put them in their own parts of the remix deck in case I wanna trigger each one independently. What we're going to do here is actually select groups. So since I'm using four groups right here in this project, you'll see them all selected. And you can actually check or uncheck which groups will be exported. So in this scene, I only have group A and group C. I don't really even need to have these checked right now. Otherwise, I'm going to get blank WAV files. So let's go ahead and export. And what this is doing is just going to export WAV files of these two patterns at which point then, of course, I can go right into Tractor and load them up inside of my Remix deck. So let's go take a look at Tractor real quick. And all you have to do is refresh just by re-clicking, and there we go. So we have this second pattern. We'll drag this right behind. So the first one was just like a kick and a shaker. And the second one added a closed hi-hat. Now, of course, you can rename these by double-clicking kick, shaker, hat, which I definitely recommend doing because you got to know what's going on. And at the same point, don't forget to right-click here and actually change the colors. So it's easier to see, you know, 
if all your drums are kind of in red or some kind of red hue and maybe all your bass lines are blue or your effects are in green you know kind of like your swishes and swooshes whatever you got so we have that let's actually add the bass now in the second column and you know what since I know in that first column I'm just usually doing this intro with nothing else just the uh, drums I'll come here and actually put it in the second row since I know it goes along with this pattern the way we had inside a machine the way it was written and so we can actually trigger both these from the F1 right now <laughs> Very nice. Now, one thing you'll notice is this is in one-shot mode. We want to come over here and make sure you put everything in loop mode. If you want them looping, of course. If not, just leave it in that. So what we're going to do now is come, again, obviously you can just kind of rinse and repeat right here. So I'm going to come into scene four, which sounds like this. So it's a bit of a variation. I believe it's adding the snare. The bass line is different. It has an echo on it now. And the synth lead is introduced. So again, we'll just come here, File, Export Audio. And now we're going to select the synth lead and hit Export. So basically, you're going to already arrange your songs inside of the scenes. Simply select the scenes, export the groups you want, and it's just going to spit out nice little WAV files right to your desktop or wherever you choose. That to the point where as soon as I'm ready to go, I can start arranging these now inside of my remix deck. So let's go refresh the desktop again, and blam, here's some extra ones. So that's my second bass line. Here's my synth lead, and the drum group three with the snare. So if I was to play all these three from triggered from the F1 right now, you get the idea. And now, whenever you're done, simply come in, save your remix set, rename it, and you're ready to perform your machine projects live. Welcome to DubSpot. We believe in providing you hands-on experience right away. Whether you're completely new to music and want to turn the sounds in your head into a musical reality, or you're an experienced artist looking to refine your skills and add new tools to your arsenal, we're ready to meet you at your level. For students of all ages, all levels, and all styles of music, DubSpot is here to help you achieve your goals. With course offerings both online wherever you are and at our school in the heart of New York City, we are ready to guide you through the next phase of your musical transformation. Whether you want to produce music, DJ, or do both, you've come to the right place. Come explore DubSpot for yourself. Become a part of our community and make music.